Lucifer, AKA Satan's in the resale game at the Benz? Got that heat. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. This is Trip to the Thrift, episode 34, and we just hit 200 subscribers. I can't thank you enough for that. And if you're watching this for the first time and you're not a subscriber, I recommend you go ahead and click that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that way you get notifications when I drop more stuff. This video is epic. I didn't find anything that's gonna go out and like make me a million dollars, but I did find a bunch of shit that's gonna pay my bills and that's all I wanna do right now. So guys, buckle up, enjoy this video, like, subscribe, let's do it. Nintendo comes with manuals, uh, the original poster, the 90 day warranty, and the Zapper 2 controllers, and the console. This and Tetris. What do I do? So I left the Nintendo behind. It didn't have the power supply for it. If they had the power supply for it, I'd have plugged it in and tested it right there on the spot. They wanted 50 bucks. I told them, look, and they said, oh, if it's not working, we'll give you your money back. I was like, well, look, let's do 30. And even if it doesn't work, I'll keep it. And you guys keep the 30 bucks versus if it doesn't work, I bring it back, you're out of 50 bucks. They didn't buy it. I gave him my number. They're gonna call me if uh, the owner wants to do a better deal for me. But uh, I did get out with the Shacters. He's got yeah. on that. Stepping out, I picked up the PS1, the small version. Uh, I paid 25 bucks for it. Comps online are pretty good, so I think I'm gonna make some sort of a profit, but first I gotta get home and I gotta test it and make sure this goddamn thing works. But 25 bucks, not a bad deal. Oh my God, look, Jordans. <laughs> ah, so fake. I can't believe the Goodwill would put this in the display and then drop these bad boys down there for $150. They're out of their mind. Who doesn't enjoy a little coke every once in a while? Got this for $1.99. This bad boy is from 1980s, I believe. It is a screen star, so I did grab it. It's up on my eBay page if you're interested. If no one buys it, I will be mad because this shirt is epic. Definitely one of the most bitchin' heavy metal cartoons of all time. Definitely picking this up. Look at this bitchin' vintage Columbia jacket. Look at this thing, the color on this is amazing. So cool. Definitely picking this up. This is really amazing. I just walked out with a big old bag of amazing clothing that I'm gonna put on my eBay page. The link is in the description below. I honestly can't believe the comps that are going on those Hawaiian shirts. I didn't know anything about them. I just saw them and I'm like, man, these look very interesting. So I uh, I looked them up and I couldn't believe my eyes and there was three of them there. So I grabbed all three of those. I grabbed that Disney Lion King uh, Hot Topic exclusive. That thing, I think the last one sold for, actually I think I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. Yeah, I went for that much. But um, I'm gonna move on to the next, actually I'm gonna call the night. I'm tired, I've been up since 3.45 in the morning. 
and uh, I'm really glad to stop by. Is that some Versace? Nope. Just some knockoff brand. You always gotta check the women's section, especially the jacket section. They always have these bangers like this just sitting there. Hidden gems. How much I wanna make a bet this thing is real? I bet you any amount of money it's real. Actually, I'll give you my next full year paychecks. Psych. Sucker is so fake, man. The material felt like it was gonna fall apart. It's still fun finding these things, your heart races, but fake as hell. Super rad. This is the first time I've ever found one of these in the thrift store. So I was super excited. I got home and I trimmed around the logo patch and I cut the jacket. So far in this thrift store, this 1998 South Park big ass pen. This finished fruit of the loom. I just love the print on it. This is sick. I'm gonna keep that for myself. This vintage Hawaii hang loose with the puff print. Love that. And this giant, I think it's a 3XL disturb tee, which you know. I sell for all shapes and sizes on my eBay page. So this will be up for sale for sure. Along with this one, this is a personal. And you can get this as well. So can we just admire this Jurassic Park sippy cup from 90, what is it, 97? That's definitely going in my collection.
<laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bells. We'll see you next time. Thank you.